Back in 1953, I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas was a crazy popular song by our friend Gayla Peavy. All these years later, it's still a crazy popular song. We have Gayla Peavy joining us via Skype. Gayla, how are you? Fine. How are you, Dave? Doing well. It is a pleasure to meet you, and thank you very much for your time today. Thank you for inviting me. Well, of course, and joining us on the set from the Oklahoma City Zoo, Tara Henson and Amy Stevens. Ladies, great to see you. It's nice to see you. It's so good to see you, Gayla. Thank you. You too. We just love her. She's just wonderful. Well, this should be a fun interview because everybody knows everybody here. I'm kind of <laughs> dealing myself into the conversation. Uh, Gayla, where are you at? I'm in uh, Southern California, San Diego. And I bet it's just horrible there, right? Oh, it's beautiful. Some of our best weather is in December, oh. about 80 degrees right oh. now. You know, we don't often <laughs> say that here in Oklahoma City, but this no. week is pretty nice. It's, it's pretty nice here right now, Gayla, actually. Oh, no snow, huh? Nope, no snow, sunshine, about 60 degrees, I guess. Oh, yeah, sounds we, just like here. We saved our eyes for uh, directly after Thanksgiving, as it turns out, but it's warmed up nicely. <laughs> it is. Uh, Gayla, you're born in Ponca City. What took you out to California? Uh, well, actually, I was born in Oklahoma City and lived in Ponca City for five years. Gotcha. Yeah. And and the crazy thing is, um, my parents actually moved to California to get out of the entertainment industry. I know that sounds really insane, but it's the truth. <laughs> they wanted me just to, you know, live a normal life, go to school, and um, just not, you know, have to to be in the limelight anymore. Just just be a normal kid. How'd that and, work out for you? <laughs> <laughs> for the most part, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it, I just went to school and uh, did a little bit of recording and singing as a teenager under a different name. But went on to college, met, met Cliff. We married, raised our daughter, and. Uh, uh, most of my life has been just as normal as apple pie and uh, m mostly centered around church and church friends and church activities. I'm going, the ultimate church lady. <laughs> certainly nothing wrong with that, Gail. I was going to ask you, you know, what does your life look like these days? Clearly you're enjoying things. It looks like a beautiful place you have behind you. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's a fireplace, which we don't need, really. But, uh, <laughs> Here's a few but, hippos sprinkled around the house. Yeah, yeah. Um, about my life today, really, it revolves a lot around our grandchildren. We have three, and um, we're going to meet in uh, Disneyland this this week. And we have annual passes, so we just love going to Disneyland. So, you know, grandkids, family, church, that's pretty much what uh, keeps me going. Seems that's the way life should be, right? Lots of good it stuff. Is. Centered around family. Ladies, why is this song so endearing? Well, you know, if you met Gayla right there, you know that she's just a wonderful person. Quite charming. Yes, very charming. And Thank frankly, uh, I, want, I want Amy to tell this story because I have my own kind of feelings about it, but I absolutely adore this song, and it's just, part of, it's just been part of the fabric of my life since I was a kid. It's one of those songs that when you just think about the title, it's instantly stuck in your mind. Oh, yes. Like, like right now, it's going through my mind. Yes, I'm humming it. I'm trying not to hum it, but I'm humming it, I, I assure you. Yes. Well, Amy, she teed up a story. Yes, well, it's a, a fabulous story because it started back in 1953. And, and we're, we're looking at the video sang right this there. song and, and made it famous, even though she was an Oklahoma City girl. And uh, it sold half a million copies that year, which was big. It was like um, the second highest selling Christmas music of all time at that point. And of course, the zoo and the Daily Oklahoma got together and, and cooked up an idea that this would be the perfect way to raise money to buy a hippo for the zoo, because at that point we didn't have one. And I, Where do you go about buying a hippo back <laughs> in the 50s, right? Well, exactly, and yeah. it's certainly not something we would do today. But, and, you know, I don't know a part of that deal because, frankly, I wasn't quite around just <laughs> yet. <laughs> Although I've met that hippo. So. Matilda. Yes, Matilda. Yeah, the children in the schools raised their pennies. They raised several thousand dollars. And they actually got Matilda from the Central Park Zoo in New York. Okay. And she was queued up to fly on Christmas Eve. And so we made the money goal, and she flew to Oklahoma City. And Gayla got to be the first person to meet her yeah. off the plane. And we're looking, by the way, Gayla, at uh, you and uh, Matilda. I can only assume that's Matilda. That is yes. Matilda. Yes. And the keepers used to call her Tilly. Tilly? Yep. Oh, absolutely. 
Did you guys come up with pet names, so to speak, for all the animals there, Tara? Oh, not necessarily. I think the keeper staff probably does with some of the animals, That's but uh, she was a really, really cool hippo. I mean, you know, the history behind her, and I mean, let's face it, hippos are awesome animals, and um, who doesn't want a hippopotamus for Christmas? <laughs> well, it's very true, and we have some stuffed merchandise here, and a, you know, this sweater, uh, we were talking about this right. beforehand, at first glance, it's like, oh, a tacky, no, that's not a tacky it sweater at all. It's actually sweater. quite a, and people can. Yeah, they can purchase these. They so can get their hands on one of these. Actually, we have a series of these t-shirts, and they have the song lyrics on them. And they <laughs> Just in case you don't know, right? your mind already. <laughs> right, and they've become extremely popular. So uh, we have one for Gala, of course. Yes. They're a limited edition, and really the best way to go about getting one right now, if you really want to make sure that you get one, is to call the zoo at 425-0262. Operators are standing by? They are literally standing by. Okay. They'll take your credit card information. Um, we've reordered the t-shirts. They'll be in by the end of uh, this week, so I guess it's around December 8th, something like that, 9th, 10th, somewhere in there. And um, once they're gone, they're gone, so they are a limited edition, and we flew through the first uh, order that we had. And um, it's just become a tradition for people to get it. And then, of course, for me, I know a lot of Oklahoma City people, the second they hear the B.C. Clark jingle, yes, I do, I do like jewelry, um, but the second they hear that, it's- <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Yeah, just saying. <laughs> uh, but when they see that, they hear that um, right around Thanksgiving. It's an iconic holiday it's song. It's iconic. Yep. For me, being a part of the zoo family, being a part of, um, being an Oklahoma native, once I hear, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, then it's real. <laughs> then you know the holiday season. Uh, the is holidays upon. here, I know I'm going to hear it over and over again, and I love it. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, one thing that's been great too is that we established this tradition with um, having a sing along. And you know, Gayla came to Oklahoma City a few years back. Uh, back and we, in 2011, I believe. Yeah, and we were able to have a big sing along with her, and she came down to the museum and. and uh, Amy and some other folks put together this beautiful display about the history of the song and about Gayla's involvement and about Matilda. And uh, it was just a fun, fantastic party. And people are huge fans. And I know Gayla giggles about that, but we just love it. And she's got this <laughs> wonderful personality um, and exuberance. And people came out. It was very cold that first year. They came out. We did a sing-along, and now we've decided with this great technology, which has allowed Gayla to be with, with us today, and us with her, that we can have Skype along when she's not available from, you know, the beautiful 80-degree weather in San Diego, uh, <laughs> that we can sing. And we've got that coming up. Amy, you want to tell more about that? And that's this Saturday, right, yeah. Amy? This Saturday at noon, and people are invited to come to the zoo. It's a free event. They don't have to go through the ticket gate and come straight to the education building. We're going to have hot chocolate. It's going to be decorated and delightful. And Gayla will be Skyping in and talking to people, not only telling her story, but then there'll be time for questions. So if people cool. want to talk to her, she's got some big fans that yes, come every does. year and ask her questions that have been <laughs> named after her. <laughs> and I've been trying to think of a fun name, you know, like like some really big stars have fun names of their followers. Like, isn't Taylor Swift like Swifties or something like that? She probably has multiple names for her we, we need to think of what Gayla's would be, other than uh, just a beautiful, delightful person. Hmm. Yeah, think about that. <laughs> Gayla, Gayla, why don't you think about that for a little bit? Gayla, you should, you should tell them what you're most famous for singing in California. Oh, for about 20 years, I sang Silent Night on the top of a 40-foot Christmas tree. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, for how many years? <laughs> well, at least 20. Uh, wow. It was the singing story tree. They still have the story tree, but they don't have people on it now. <laughs> <laughs> but for all those years, I climbed the scaffolding in the back, and I was on the very tip top where the star is, you know, on the tree, and sang Silent Night. So <clears throat> in San Diego, I was almost more well-known for singing Silent Night at Christmas than uh, the hippo song. A lot of people didn't even know that I'm the one that, you know, recorded I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. More people know now because it's just gained in popularity, and you hear it everywhere. We were at Disneyland a couple of weeks ago, and it was on the loudspeakers at Disneyland. And, uh, yes, we've infiltrated. <laughs> yeah, and Hallmark has uh, keepsake ornaments, a uh -huh. new one out this year that you push the button and it's me singing and all kinds of toys and greeting cards. And so it's kind of hard to be anonymous now. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's not a bad thing at all. Gayla Peavy, thanks so much for joining us via Skype today. Congrats on uh, the success of the song and the fact that it's endured so long. And perhaps even more so, congrats on the family life you appear to be enjoying. That is fantastic. Thank you. All talk, right. to you talk to you Saturday, Gayla. Bye, Gayla. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, ladies, before we uh, wrap up here, we, we do have some events to yes. preview that's coming up at the Oklahoma City Zoo this weekend. In fact, uh, the O Christmas Sea Party. And you're going to bring in a special guest right now. I, I, yes, I mean. Do I say think or fear? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you're you're guess. This is one of our guy. animal ambassadors. And oftentimes, <laughs> oh, wow. when we have an education program. Look at this guy. Um, or is it a girl? It's a girl. This okay. is Chia. Look at this lady, Aww. Chia. And we brought her because she's the perfect cold weather animal. Mm -hmm. Because look at this fur, and I want you to touch. And so what is this? In the back. This is a chinchilla. There okay. you go. She's Tara's like back here. Touch mm -hmm. back here. Never tort the mouth. Okay. This is considered the softest <laughs> animal in the world. Aww. Would you agree? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That is crazy, oh, like amazing. plush, like an inch worth mm -hmm. of fur right there. Mm -hmm. And they don't live in the North Pole like you would think, but they're from the Andes Mountains and they live in high elevations where it's very cold and so they have this really thick fur. So I thought this was a pretty good Christmas animal to bring. Just to whip out mid-interview, right? <laughs> well, sure, <laughs> sure. But these are the type of animals that you can meet um, when you bring your kids or adults or whatever for the, our programs. We have a number of holiday programs you can check out on okczoo.com. Okay. And um, one of the really cool ones coming up is a scuba Santa. I call it scuba Santa. I think it has a little bit different name. But you actually get a chance to see scuba Santa and his or her elf swimming. And you get to have pictures taken and do crafts and, and meet animal ambassadors and um, have all kinds of fun. Uh, pretty inexpensive, cool programs. Zoo friends receive discounts. I'm just curious as we're looking at the photos here, yeah. how Santa keeps everything on. Santa's magical. <laughs> The zoo is magical. Come on, Dave. Good Everybody answer, Everybody knows that. Well played. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and while you're thinking about it, too, um, all of our animals really enjoy gifts as well. And we do have a wild wish tree out at the zoo. And so if you want to give back to the zoo, and so many people do in so many ways, um, just by being a member, they're giving back. But you can check out an ornament on our wild wish tree, or you can go online click on it, uh, check out Amazon, and you can find neat things that we might want for our different animals. So That's it can be cool. anything from, gosh, there's things on there for as low as $2 to, well, if you want to get fancy, you can get giant, giant balls made, especially for elephants, and those can oh, run wow. upwards of the hundreds of dollars. But uh, these are great things, like we're showing Cindy here, and the chimps and great apes, a lot of them love blankets, and it tells you exactly, gives you guidelines on the website and on the ornament about what's appropriate for what animal. And we have families that have now made it a tradition They'll come and get an ornament, and uh, then they'll, you know, go shop a little bit together as a family tradition and talk about the importance of giving back. And then they bring that out to the zoo, and we use those uh, throughout the year. It's usually something that the animals might enjoy that's not part of their daily routine or um, might enhance or stimulate their senses, that sort of thing. So it's everything from perfume and spices, believe it or not. Wow. So, yeah, cats how do, you have know, how do you know an animal likes perfume? Well, you know, cats have a high sense of smell, if you will, or a really sensitive sense of smell. And so you can take things in their habitat when they're not in there, like it might be perfume or an animal scent, like a hunter scent, it might be feathers, things like that. And the keepers will put those in the habitat. And the next thing you know, when they let the cat out, once they're out of there, of course, and the cat is really exploring and foraging, doing things they would, uh, just like they would in the wild, but they're really inspired. It's just like when we come home from the zoo and we have animals, they want to know where we've been. It's, sure. it's very similar to that. <laughs> That's we, interesting. We have a really great program, too, uh, for people who like to cook. We're going to do some animal treats for our animals where we create things that are pet friendly so that the visitors can take some of those pet friendly foods home as well as feed some of them to the zoo animals. And that's the class on December 19th, so that's something they can sign oh, up for cool as one. well. That's a very popular one, too, because mm -hmm. they will go out. Don't they go out as part of that class and give the treats out at the and, same time with right. the keepers? Yeah. And Christmas uh, Santa Claus is coming as well to that, and there's going to be an animal painting done as part of that program. So it's just a little bit of everything. everything. Yeah. A lot of stuff going on. You guys on. are busy right now. Mm -hmm. Very. I know I feel like one of Santa's elves must feel. I mean, we're running around like crazy, um, singing I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas, telling cool people like you about neat stuff to come and do. I'm going to sign you up now. There's a lot going on. I, I, I'm not even sure how to recap this. I met a chinchilla. <laughs> I spoke with uh, <laughs> Gayla Peavy. Uh, but let's recap real fast. Okay. The sing-along is this Saturday right. um, noon. at the zoo. It is noon. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the night before is the Adult Education Program O Christmas Sea Party. Got to pre-register for that. So pre-register. Yeah, if you want to come to that, and that's a 21 and above program. Those are really popular. The cost is 30 bucks for our zoo uh, friends members, mm -hmm. 35 mm -hmm. for non-members, and then yep. on the 15th, Santa delivers, stopping by the zoo. Santa delivers. He takes time out to come see us, and it's two for one admission out at the zoo. And Santa is going to help the keepers deliver some special goodies for animals down in the children's zoo. Immediately following that, kids will get some refreshments. They'll also have a chance to take a photo with Santa. We encourage moms, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, etc. Bring your camera or your phone. Of course. Does anyone have a camera anymore? <laughs> but but you bring your phone. Your phone. Mm -hmm. Get that, and then of course we say, you know, tag the zoo. Let us know that sure. you're out there and on all of our social media sites, and just have a really great time while you're there. I have to throw this out there. Our gift shop is rocking some awesome merch. That's merchandise. You got to pick sure. up the merch. Yep, just such saying. as stuff. Twenty-five percent off right now for zoo friends, and when you shop at the zoo, you help the animals too. That's my plug. Sticking oh, with well it. Well done, Tara. Thank you. Tara Henson, Amy Stevens, ladies, thank you very much for your time. Uh, happy holidays. Best thank of luck so with awesome. everything this weekend. We, we can't wait to come back. Every two weeks, right? Every couple weeks. Let's we'll talk about it. We'll. Right, no, every two weeks. That's great. <laughs> Our friends at the Oklahoma City Zoo, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thank you.